Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net and this is Madden 17 Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. This is Steeler Nation and this is episode 29 as uh, we're going to take a quick look here at the conference playoff that we just had uh, the conference of the uh, AFC championship game uh, to be more exact and that was of course played against the Kansas City Chiefs there at Heinz Field. Uh, there you see we won that game 52-31. We'll take a quick little review of that, but right now, take a look here at the game in the NFC as uh, the New Orleans Saints will move on to the Super Bowl here as they won 27-24, a very tight contested game there. And Drew Brees will move on now to the next round, beating Matt Ryan there, who had a pretty good game there. Two touchdowns, uh, 294 yards, 29-44 or 29 there, 65% of his passes are complete. But Drew Brees just edging him out there. Uh, even though Brees did throw three picks and got sacked three times and um, you know had less yards there, 282. Uh, but the defense were able to hold out there towards the very part of the game there, stopping the Atlanta Falcons there dead in their tracks there as they were going down the field uh, in a uh, drive there in the final um two or actually four minutes of the ball game there and did a good job there just uh, holding them up there and uh, stopping Matt Ryan and company there in that game so very nice victory there for those individuals there and then you take a look at the numbers there uh, for both teams uh, when it comes to receiving here but yeah just a great game there and now of course uh, we were able to move on to the next round and we'll have to face these Saints. So these two teams will have to go battle here. And it should be a really interesting game. Uh, both, um, you know, the Steelers' uh, offense is electric right now. They're playing really good uh, football. Uh, as for the offense, or the, I should say the defense for uh, the Saints, a lot of the defensive uh, players there, just a really great job of really just uh, be able to um, just hold them um, where they need to be at, uh, especially against the Falcons, who, of course, they, you know, the two teams see each other twice a year. And then, of course, this year was the third time they met each other, that being because of the playoffs. Um, but, yeah, just a great game. Um, and, unfortunately, Matt Ryan and the uh, Falcons there just could not do enough there uh, to kind of, uh, get over the hump there and get to uh, the Super Bowl here. So uh, at least it won't be a disaster like in real life when they uh, just last year went to the Super Bowl and uh, end up getting uh, having a great first half and the second half just uh, coming undone. So won't see that here in this game, in this uh, version of Madden. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to keep our feet going and our and our team going. As uh, we're just, you know, right now playing some really good football. We'll see that here in just a bit as we were able to defeat the Chiefs in that game. Take a look, 52-31. Um, not much of a defensive game uh, per se here uh, with the exception of uh, really doing a good job there. The uh, You know, we're only able to score once in the fourth quarter there. Um and in the course, the Chiefs were able to uh, score two touchdowns there, but we were able to just kind of uh, do a good job there. And, you know, you see there they only scored 21 points in the first three quarters of that game. Um, as for us, we were already up so, quite a bit significantly there, and just playing really some, uh, just trying to, uh, you know, just trying to run the clock as much as possible. We didn't have to do too much to get the lead, but we were we able to. Uh, you know, a lot, I think it was like 14 points unanswered there in the fourth or in the uh, third quarter alone. Uh, we were able to do some manage there. There you see Alex Smith, 363 yards, four touchdowns there for him, along with Ben Rothberg, who had another great game from him uh, as he was uh, 21 30, uh, 21 or 23. 412 yards, four touchdowns, but he did get sacked twice. Uh, now, David Cobb did a great job there, getting close to 100 yards there. He had 26 carries for 93 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Bryant 
Uh, had seven receptions, 170 yards, and three touchdowns. Uh, Jesse James, four receptions, 49 yards. And, of course, Antonio Brown, two receptions for 72 yards and a touchdown. So really a great game uh, from our offense there. Uh, you know, defensively, yes, it was really bad. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, you can say the same thing about the Chiefs. Their, you know, their defensive game was not there. Uh, you know, as they did, of course, give up 52 points to us. Um, not as bad as ours, but uh, just as such. So, well, so you know, if you're a, you know, they say defenses win championships. Well, not in the case in this situation, as uh, really, truly, the offense just really came alive for both teams, and it basically just came down to whoever had possession or whoever, um, you know, came to the point where uh, they turned the ball over and the other team were able to. Um, uh, you know, take, try to you know take the ball and, and go down the field. Notice what's happened for us, as uh, we had several of those. Of course, uh, to wit, having that gr- amazing uh, f- fumble recovery there, and then taking that one and taking it to the house there for a defensive touchdown there that really helped us out uh, and taking the pressure off of Ben there early in the ball game. Uh, along also too, I mean, just putting the uh, we were there was a lot of times there. Uh, where we were able to push the Chiefs back and, and really get on top of um, of uh, Alex Smith as uh, he was sacked uh, three times in that ball game there. Uh, Hayward, Bolden, um, Shazier, and Motes uh, all had a sack on him. So just a great job there. Uh, you know, some glimpses of some defense there that we had uh, played uh, for our part there, uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, Student Twit had a great um, fumble recovery, and of course, uh, we were able to uh, take that for a touchdown. Uh, but take take a look at his some news here. Uh, we'll get into more of the preview of uh, between the matchup between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Saints in the uh, next video, which will be your Pro Bowl video. We'll talk about that. And show those uh, numbers there for Pro Bowl and kind of dive into into that. Um, but Chris Conley for the Chiefs there, he just did a great, a great, amazing job there. And that was one of the things that we had to really focus on. Uh, but we were unable to successfully do that. Now he did. Uh, I think he had over 150 yards in the game, but I think he only scored once. Um, so that cannot happen to us in the next episode here. Uh, in the next game coming up in the Super Bowl um, against the um, uh, Saints there. So we'll talk more about that in a uh, kind of a preview video for the Super Bowl. But uh, uh, but actually coming up the next, the next episode here will be a Pro Bowl video here real quick. Well, episode 50 of the franchise. Uh, we'll talk about the uh, that and a kind of preview. The Super Bowl coming up for uh, the Saints and for the Steelers. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, uh, if you guys want to know the numbers, so I go back and check it out. Pause the video, see what the numbers are. Um, but that is a but day. That was the AFC Championship game. We got that. Now it's time to move on and focus for a World Championship. Can we do it this time around and be undefeated at the same time? Well, we'll have to find out and see uh, in the next uh, here and coming up here very soon in Super Bowl Fifty Two. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more uh, Pittsburgh Steelers franchise here on ESGNet. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Links are down below in the description. And as always, keep yourselves together healthy, and I will see you guys next time.